Working with knee issues has always been a passion of mine simply because I've had them in my life. I played basketball in college at a Division I school on a scholarship, which was great. It paid for school, but my body paid for it after. So I ended up having two arthroscopic surgeries on my left knee and just skipped it on my right knee, even though it was requested. And worked with personal trainers and therapeutics and really didn't get any sort of comfort or healing until I found yoga. The reason being, I feel, is that when you're lifting weights, working out in that way, you're superficially building muscle strength outside. However, with yoga, you're strengthening the joints of the body from the inside of the joint out, so there's much more stability. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about some common knee injuries. There are meniscus tears, which can be minor or can be extremely painful. And then there's also um, the lateral collateral ligament on the outside of the knee and the medial collateral ligament on the inside of the knee, ACL and MCL. Those are often commonly torn. Maybe with soccer players, in women's sports, it's very common for soccer players, basketball players, to get that injury because of the lateral movement, the slides. And it's more common in women simply because of our build. Our hips are wider, our knees are more narrow. So that pressure can often create a weak link in our leg. It's also common to have the anterior cruciate ligament or the posterior cruciate ligament. Inside the knee, there's two ligaments that cross like this. Those are often commonly torn as well. So ACL and MCL can also be very common tears in football players male soccer players, athletes, um, runners. So keeping the knee healthy is important because as we age, it takes more wear and tear. It's carrying the weight of the body entirely through each step. And as we age, another risk we run into is arthritis in the joint. And that happens because our nerve synapses start to slow down as we age. So you're walking along and your knee hurts, you hit something, step funny, your knee hurts, it takes longer for that message to get to the brain. So we do more damage before we stop. So keeping this sort of healthy movement patterns and keeping the circulation in the knee is very important to keep the knee healthy as we age. The other thing that's important is to keep the musculature around the knee strong and healthy. So keeping the quadriceps strong Sometimes there's even an imbalance in the strength of our quads. They might be stronger on the outside or the inside, which can lead to the kneecap sliding laterally or medially. So keeping that strength in the quadriceps and a nice balance between the quadriceps and the hamstrings and keeping the calves strong. So having yoga videos at home is a great way to deepen your practice. Maybe start your practice if you're nervous about going to a studio. But I really encourage you at some point to find a teacher that's qualified, that you connect with, that works well with you. And then you have an extra pair of eyes to guide you, to watch for alignment issues so that you're really tracking the knee in a right way and you're bringing your body to health, not creating negative movement patterns. So go support your local studio and find a teacher that you really mesh with.